Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pancake Saturdays. I'm back in San Diego, and um, today we're going to a place I have been to before. So it's called Morning Glory. It's in Little Italy. It's super funky, very popular. I really like it a lot. Um, and yeah, we're going to go tomorrow morning. So I'm filming this the day before because you have to be there really early. It opens at eight, but you'll see there's like a lineup and you have to have reservations. I mean, sorry, they don't accept reservations. So you just have to show up and wait for your table. Um, so we're going to be there by 8 a.m. when the doors open and uh, see how long it takes us. In. All right, come with me. Bye. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's all you miss. All right, Don't it. go ahead, take it. Okay, so what you just saw, this is my mini um, creme brulee. They were giving out $2 upsells while we were waiting for our breakfast because it was kind of a long wait. I did start off my morning with, I think this is called an Irish breakfast. It tastes like a whiskey sour, very similar. Um, yeah, it was delicious. My friend, she got an oatmeal latte um, with some cinnamon on top. I really like the cup that it came in. And then here we just have some sides, the bacon, eggs, and the hash browns. My hash browns are actually really overcooked. They were almost impossible to bite, but we, you know, we made it through. Um, your regular scrambled eggs. And then here is what my friend had. She had, this is actually the German Dutch pancakes. It's really nice. It's like fluffy. You can see the butter around it kind of creates like a little pool of butter. And then you put lemon over top of it with the powdered sugar. It was, I had a bite of it. It was actually really delicious. And then I decided to try the souffle pancakes. This is my second time having the souffle pancakes. And because I had such a good view of the kitchen, one thing I noticed is they start to deflate really fast. So as soon as they take them out, the pancakes will actually already start deflating. So I think this is just like because they're made with egg whites and it's kind of what happens to them These ones did taste much better than the ones I had at Brian's 24. So I really enjoyed them um, They were still super fluffy, but by the end of it they had compressed a lot So, you know, honestly, I don't think souffle pancakes are my favorite My friend liked my pancakes and I personally liked her pancakes, but hey ho here's a nice little syrup shot um but it, it was it was still tasty and uh, i would i would order it again if i had to so i just wanted to show you this one last thing so it was really interesting here this is kind of the back room this is where we were sitting and they have if you can see right there a champagne vending machine <laughs> and then this is just a view of the kitchen but if you do go to morning glory one of the places that you must check out is going to be the bathroom and um, right after I show you this beautiful vending machine, this is the bathroom. Just go in and check it out. It's worth it. It's really funky. It's, I mean, there's a lineup just to go see it. So yeah, but um, it was fun and very just interesting and different. It's a great place. Oh yeah, and this is the ceiling. I really liked just, you know, all the, 
the different aesthetics that were around. Um, so it was a great breakfast by all. And so here's my quick review, because I've already talked a lot. Um, in regards to the atmosphere, I'm definitely giving it five out of five pancakes. It was a fun place that you would go. It's great to take people out of town to come visit. The price, okay, the price was kind of expensive. So for everything we had there, the my drink, her coffee, I actually got a coffee afterwards, the two pancakes and the sides, it came to $95 altogether. So I'm gonna have to give it three out of five pancakes for the price. And then for the pancakes themselves, like they were good, they were just average pancakes. Um, I did like them better than the Brian's 24 pancakes, but nothing crazy, you know? So I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five pancakes as well. Anyways, I hope you like this. If you did, um, I let me know and like and subscribe. It really helps uh, get my content out there and I appreciate you for following. Thanks so much. Okay, 